We are here with John Garcia Jr. of Sports Illustrated. John, we discussed a lot about these three guys and the well, four receivers, but primarily Tate Ennis, excuse me, Carnell Tate, Brandon Ennis, and Noah Rogers, who committed on back to back to back days. Who do you think is next to commit to Ohio State? Well, their their targets are are all over the place in their decision making. In terms of the one who has potentially the soonest turnaround, the quickest turnaround from, from a visit to a commitment, it's probably Brock Glenn, the quarterback. Doesn't mean he's 100% committing to Ohio State. I do think it's a real battle between the Buckeyes uh, and the Auburn Tigers, which is the school he's most familiar with. But look, he wants to be committed before the Elite 11, and the Elite 11 starts Tuesday night. So uh, if he follows through with that plan, I do think he could be the first uh, c commitment off the board for Ohio State moving forward if he picks the Bucks. But again, a real tight battle between the Buckeyes and the Auburn Tigers, which is not something we say every day in recruiting. But uh, the quarterback boards everywhere have shifted plenty over the last few weeks. Um, there's more of an unknown timeline with the other top quarterback target, Austin Novosad, uh, the Baylor commitment who we've talked about. He was at Baylor a couple weekends ago, uh, was supposed to see Texas A&M this past weekend. So his list is changing. Ohio State uh, hosted him earlier in the month of June. Uh, so his decision can really come at any time in terms of a final decision. So there's certainly some drama with the quarterback position. I think if you expand it and look elsewhere, there's a lot of defensive recruits uh, set to come off the board in the coming weeks. Uh, I think among them, in terms of those, Ohio State has a really good shot at. Uh, Jonel Aguero, the safety uh, from uh, Massachusetts, I believe he's committing in the middle of July. So I do think that could be a date for, for Buckeyes fans to keep an eye on. You know, we, we've seen this offensive class kind of go crazy, right? There's great running backs, wide receivers. Quarterback could be on the way. Still need some, some love on the defensive side of the ball if I'm a Buckeyes fan. That's where I want to see a little bit more attention going forward. Uh, so he would certainly be a, a banner pickup. Uh, Jane Bonsu is also committing the safety out of New Jersey. Another guy very high uh, on Ohio State, really for the longest uh, period compared to some of his other contenders. So the sooner he makes a decision, I think the better for the Buckeyes there. So it looks like the secondary uh, and the quarterback position could be two of the next positions to, to see some volume increase uh, for the Ohio State Buckeyes, who, of course, have built a solid foundation to this 23 class, even beyond uh, these pass catchers. Are Brock Glenn or Austin Novosad attending the Manning Passing Academy? They're, they're not at the Passing Academy because they're going to the Elite 11. So okay, okay. Um, it looks like we'll, we'll probably, if, if they grab one of those two, meaning the Buckeyes, we'll see another Buckeye compete at, at the Elite 11, where, of course, C.J. Stroud really – put himself on the map. You know, Justin Fields won it uh, the year prior, but he was already kind of a known commodity. Of course, he was, um, I don't think he was committed to Georgia at the time, but he was committed to Penn State, flipped to Georgia. We all know how, how it worked out after that. So when CJ did it, it was just like a plant, uh, flag planting ceremony. Like, yes, you don't know a ton about me, but, but I'm here to stay. But he beat up Bryce Young for the Elite 11 crown that year. So Curious to see, because because Brock Glenn and Novosad are in kind of that C.J. Stroud territory relative to their national profile going into their senior season. They are considered good prospects, but more unknown to the national audience because of the Arch Mannings, the Dante Moores, Jaden Rashadas of the world, Eli Holsteins of the world. So if they go to L.A. next week and really show out, they've got an opportunity to make a similar uh, sort of jump like C.J. did going into his senior season. And the Elite 11 has typically, especially in the last few years, really been a prelude to a ton of college success. So it's something I would certainly keep an eye on out in L.A. And uh, I'll be out there. So maybe it's a little bit of a preview or selfish of me to bring it up, but I'll be out there camera rolling. So certainly look forward to reporting on, on what we get to see out there.